Charming Pet Guru What makes orange cats so special? Hey, everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of orange cats. You know, those vibrant, fluffy fur balls that seem to have captured everyone's hearts. From Garfield to Puss in Boots, orange cats are some of the most memorable felines around. But what makes them so special? Let's find out. Orange Cat Pigment What makes a cat orange, or a person with ginger hair ginger, is a natural pigment called pheomelanin. This yellow-red pigment doesn't guarantee that everyone with it will have the same shade of orange fur or hair, colors can range from white to red, but it does mean they share a common pigment trait. Orange Cat Genetics Orange cats are orange because their color comes from the X chromosome. Female cats have two X chromosomes, so they need to get the orange color from both their mom and dad. Male cats have one X and one Y chromosome, so they only need the orange color from their mom. Therefore, orange cats are not always male, but they are about 80% of the time because it's less common for female cats to inherit the right genes. Orange cats are all tabbies. You might already know this, but just in case, a tabby cat isn't a specific breed. It's a term for cats with certain markings on their coats. Technically, every cat is a tabby cat, though other patterns might cover up the tabby pattern. For orange cats, the pheomelanin pigment not only gives them their color but also makes their stripes visible, which is why all orange cats are very clearly tabby cats. There are four main types of tabby patterns. First, the classic tabby, which, despite its name, isn't the most common. It features thick, swirling patterns on each side of the body, often resembling a bullseye. It may also have a butterfly-shaped pattern on its shoulders. The second type is the mackerel tabby, which is similar to a tiger with its parallel stripes running down each side. Sometimes, these stripes form an M-shape on the cat's forehead, which is a common feature in many tabbies. The name, mackerel, comes from the stripes resembling the skeleton of a fish. Third is the spotted tabby, which has spots on its body and an M on its forehead. You might see this pattern in breeds like the Bengal and Maine Coon. Lastly, the tick tabby has fur with alternating light and dark bands, giving it a salt and pepper appearance without distinct stripes. So, what are orange cats called? They're all tabby cats, and they could have any of the above patterns. No one really knows where they're from. If you enjoy a good mystery, you'll find the history of orange cats intriguing. No one really knows exactly when or where orange cats first appeared. Unlike the fancy breeds that were carefully developed in the mid-20th century, orange cats weren't selectively bred in the same way. There's a theory that orange cats might have originated in Egypt. This is because the Egyptian Mao, a cat breed from Egypt, carries the gene responsible for the orange color. Could this breed be the source of the very first orange cat? We may never know for sure. Orange cats tend to be extremely friendly. While we can't guarantee it, orange cats are often known for being fun and friendly. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, and some orange cats can be grumpy, but many are charming. This might be because research shows that male cats are usually a bit friendlier than females. Since around 80% of orange cats are male, it makes sense that they might be more sociable than other cats. Despite their friendly reputation, orange cats are surprisingly the second least adopted breed from shelters, right after black cats. If you decide to adopt an orange cat, consider getting pet insurance. Just like dogs, cats need vaccinations, and a wellness plan can help cover routine checkups and booster shots. They are less common in cities and more common in villages. Studying cats must be a fascinating job. Thanks to a detailed 10-year study in France by Pontier and colleagues, we now know that orange cats are more common in rural areas of France. The study found that in rural areas, male cats often mate with several females, while females usually stick with one male. In contrast, in urban areas, both males and females tend to have multiple partners. Researchers think that in cities, orange cats use their size and aggression to their advantage, but these traits aren't as effective in densely populated urban environments. The boys are particularly big, the girls are particularly small. What we mean is this, in every cat breed, males are generally larger than females. 
but in orange cats, this size difference is more noticeable than in other breeds. So, a male orange cat will be quite big compared to most other breeds, while a female orange cat will be smaller compared to females of other breeds. Regardless of your cat's size, make sure they're getting the right nutrition to stay healthy and strong. Check out Cat Food Advisor for high-quality food options for your furry friend. If you want to switch your cat's food, it's okay to make the change, even if they're used to a specific type. They were good enough for a prime minister at war. If you search for orange cats online, you'll probably come across the story of Winston Churchill, the British prime minister during wartime, who had an orange cat named Tango. Tango was a neutered male and one of many cats that Churchill loved. Not much is known about Tango, but it's said that Churchill used she slash her pronouns for the cat and even let it drink cream from the table. We wouldn't recommend this, as cats are often lactose intolerant. To keep your pet healthy, you might want to consider a wellness plan with an insurance provider, something Churchill likely didn't have. Later in life, Churchill received an orange and white cat as a birthday gift, which he named Jock. His home, Chartwell, now has its sixth ginger cat named Jock, honoring the late Prime Minister's legacy. They attract tall tales. Garfield isn't the only orange cat with an interesting story. While we can't confirm if this next tale is true, it's a charming one. You might have noticed the M-shaped mark on a tabby cat's forehead. Some people believe that when baby Jesus was having trouble sleeping, a ginger tabby cat comforted him. According to the story, Mary, his mother, was so grateful that she kissed the cat's forehead, leaving an M-shaped mark in its fur. Alternatively, some say that Mary drew the M on the cat's head with her finger to represent her own name, 